This week on Mountain Bike Chronicles, we head to Whistler, BC for the first diamond stop of the FMB World Tour, Red Bull Joyride. There we follow Brandon Semenuk as he tries to win on home turf for the first time. And we head to the foam pit and check out how athletes train to take their riding to the next level. Whistler, BC, a mecca of free ride mountain biking and home to one of its biggest names, 20-year-old Brandon Semenuk. He's the leader of our sport right now. He's been dominating every slip style event. FMB this year, I was sitting first coming to this event by just a, just a few points, like not much at all. Less than 100 points separates the top three heading into the biggest event of the year, Red Bull Joyride in Brandon's hometown of Whistler. He's an amazing competitor, he knows how to do it, he's an amazing bike rider and it's, there's, just, there's so many people that are incredible riders but can't put it together, you know, each weekend and he puts it together more than anyone. Joyride is the one event where he hasn't been able to put it together. Brandon Semino. Last year, he had a winning run, but crashed on the final jump, putting him out for the rest of the year. I think it's just killing him on the inside because it is his hometown and he has a big crowd wanting him to get that W, but just can't do it. Red Bull Joyride is for sure the biggest comp of the year. Everyone saves all their big tricks just to throw them on here. It's the biggest stage in Mountain Bike. This is 15-year-old Anthony Mazzari's first year on the FMB World Tour. If he puts it all together and stays on two wheels, everybody here who's going to fill the village on Saturday night is going to know who he is. It usually seems to come, come together for me here at Crankworks. And I've won twice. I've been able to, I guess, just put it together on those days. A little bit of luck, a lot of hard work, and just never saying no. It is the biggest slopes of the year. It's our our Olympics, our X Games, our new tour for the year. Like it's what we all kind of like wait for and you know save ourselves for. Today, Brandon lives just outside of Whistler. We join him as he tries to make it to the mountain in time for Joyride Finals. No, well, there's no contest today. Stuck in traffic all day. Traffic in Whistler too. It's like un unheard of. Growing up in Whistler, it's kind of been a mountain bike mecca, like obviously Crankworks and all that. I've seen it every year since I've been a, been a kid, so it's really cool to be competing in it and been part of it for like four or five years now. I'll get a bingo too. Sure. One? Thanks, one. Win 25k this way too. <laughs> I guess Crankworks is kind of my demon event. It's like the one event I haven't, I haven't got a win at. As he gets ready, he tries his luck on the lottery ticket, but loses. Things can only go up from here. Yeah. Playing the odds right now, the more times you lose, you're bound to win. And uh, it's a bit weird because this, this event I've done probably more than most other ones, like I think four years, and I've got like thirds and seconds, but never a win, you know? No one really cares about top five. They want a first place. Don't go anywhere the finals for the Red Bull Joyride. Coming up next from Whistler. In a sport where so much is on the line, riders need to find new ways to practice their skills for the big stage any time of the year. Right now we're here at the Air Dome. Got a sick foam pit and some pretty cool box jumps. So. Uh, yeah, because of the injury, I haven't been riding that much. So I just want to do the tricks that I've done a thousand times before the injury. Just now you're a bit scared in your head and uh, self-confidence is on top. 
foam pit allows riders to train physically and mentally before taking it to the dirt. For myself, it's been an interesting year. I had a couple ups and downs. Ended up breaking my back a few weeks ago, so I uh, don't have a lot of confidence on the bike, so it's good to get in the uh, foam pit, throw a couple tricks where it's nice and comfy and safe, get some of the confidence back, because in this sport, confidence is everything. If you don't got the confidence, yeah, well, sometimes you crash, and sometimes it hurts. Not just a good tool for rehabilitation, foam pits are responsible for some of the biggest leaps in mountain bike progression. It takes some time to get back to tricks, but so far, it's pretty good, so uh, we'll see now. Hopefully they're fully back soon. After months of anticipation, the big show is ready to get underway. The riders start to battle one by one. Past slope style and best trick winner, Greg Watts, dials in his run mentally and steps up for the real thing. Greg Watts! Greg Watts with a beautiful bar spin coming into these doubles. There you go, with a flip X up, coasting into this burn jump. Beautiful flip whip. Flipping that 30-footer spine? No way. Watts has really came to play today. Here we go, Kokanee Cabin. Say hello to your new leader, 85.4 for Craig Watts. Now pay close Watts attention. Watts doesn't to get to game. enjoy the lead for long, as 15-year-old rookie Anthony Mazzari is riding next. Originally not on the starting list, Mazzari was a last-minute addition and qualified first. But he was just getting started. Anthony Mazzari, who? Yeah, well, he's right here. You're gonna know who he is after this. Oh! You guys gotta watch this height right here. Mazzari gets the biggest air of the week, hitting jumps almost 10 feet higher than anyone else, doing tricks like a seasoned pro all the way down. Mazzari, what's he got? What? Oh! What? Holy Are you shit. kidding me? Anthony Mazzari, 15 years old, coming out swinging to the front door. What? A 92? Are you kidding me? 15 year old, and he's on the top of the heap on his first run. As Seminuk watched from the pits, he knew Zink's run was up next, a rivalry that's been brewing since last year. He had a killer end of the year there and ended up taking the overall that, you know, everyone was like, oh, now is your rival. Oh, that's a sweet little note for Brandon. A fun not partying number two. Yeah. I wish you would have wrote me one back, so I asked for one for a turn. Cameron Zink is a bit of a boastful kind of person, and he always likes to throw it in Seminuk's face, which, I don't know, it's kind of funny. Just because, you know, Seminuk's so, like, kind of mellow and mild-mannered. A lot of people yeah, are trying to build it up a lot, night. and I don't mind it. It's cool to have a little rivalry, but, you know, he's my friend, and but he's also the biggest adversary. I think, it's, I think it's funny, like, we're buddies. We're not like, oh, like, I'm gonna get you, like, blah, 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 and like, try and hide stuff. It's like, we're still up on course, like, man, like, this jump's hard to trick, you know? Like, there's, there's really no difference. He's an amazing competitor. He knows how to do it. He's an amazing bike rider. He's, you know, he's the one that everyone's looking at, so tough to beat. That bro said, yeah, dude. The bar's been set early, but it's far from over. Defending champ from last year at Arena. Yeah. There's still the most anticipated matchup of the weekend. Cam Zink is about to kick it off. Zink hooking a big three off that drop, coming into the big step downs. Amplitude on that, huh? Flip knack over the hill. All right, and he's coming into the ski spine right here. Plenty of style, plenty of move. Awesome, five in that. Through the coconut cabin. The front flip! He did it! He put it down, Cam Zeke! 
trying to beat a 92.8. 94, he has done it! Say hello to first place, Cam Zink, the defending champ from last year! How do you beat that score? With Zink's record score set, Brandon Semenuk takes the stage. Brandon, the local boy, Semenuk! Now, Zink can only watch Semenuk's wizardry. He can't throw it down for all you guys. Big truck off that first drop. Perfect textbook whip. And another flip bar. Oh man, Cork in that slow, slow flip out. Semenuk is really pouring it on here at the finals. He leaves no stone unturned with a different trick on each stunt. Brandon pulls off a run like no one else, from top flip to bottom. Up. He's landed it! Brandon Semenuk has landed the flip flip right here at Company Great Works. Your gold medalist and your Red Bull Joyride. Give it up for Brandon Semenuk! Five years of doing this event, and to finally take a, a first spot is, you know, it's unreal. It's one of the best feelings in my career. After Joyride, Semenuk is pulling away with the championship, while Zink has climbed into fourth place. Next week on Mountain Bike Chronicles, we head to Vancouver Island for the Bear Claw Invitational and find out what island style really means.